But somebody at your level in these competitions, when you're talking about maintaining, so let's say you have a competition coming up in three months, four months, how long does it take you to prepare from your you know, normal weight or your normal shape to be prepared for that competition? Uh, anywhere between four four months, I think, around wow. four months. And that's strict yeah. diet, strict but then, training. But here's the thing, though. But here's the thing: you're 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 doing all that the whole year. There is no time off at this level. So my off season is growing. Hmm. And yeah. I'm trying to grow more than the year before. On average, into one year, the four months. Yeah, when mm-hmm. you're growing, you're talking about growing. Like, it's hard. It's hard for people to understand, but like. What is, what's your expectation? If you're in competition and you're competing and you're wanting to get better every year, how much are you growing? Like, what is it? How much pure muscle can you attain every year? How much weight can you put on every year? Uh, I think at my level, uh, three pounds a year, four pounds a year. Wow. Of lean muscle. Yeah. Of pure muscle, yeah. But here's the thing. So every year also you want to improve your condition, which is basically how dry you look on stage. Mm. So sometimes I compete and the difference between my weight from this year to last year is only two pounds. Sometimes it's the same, but I still look better because I'm drier. And when when you say drier... So there's less fat, yeah, less fat, less water, a little bit more muscle. What type of uh, body body fat percentage do you, do you do you enter the competition with? Like man, between like definitely under five, so around four, three, four. Wow, no, four, three. Unbelievable. Yeah, Ventessa, now you. Yeah, it's very difficult to maintain. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. And this is what I was gonna say. Like, how do you maintain that drive to continue that discipline to continue doing what you're doing? Like. The first show is always the easiest and the most fun of the year. The first show of the year is the most fun. The second show, it's like, all right, okay. Here we uh, go. Here we go. Okay. The third show, and it's always like this. The third show is always like, fuck this shit. I want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go eat some McDonald's. I don't do, I don't, every, every year, bro, the, the third show every year is fuck i'm texting my wife fuck this shit i want to go home i'm done uh i don't want to do this you know and is that is that three shows per year is, is the plateau is the max or is are there oh, man. sometimes it's four because the olympia wow. is usually the last show in september so there's a huge gap uh between the qualifying shows where you have to qualify for the mr olympia and then the olympia itself and then the olympia is the most difficult one Okay. So it's like after all that effort, you have to still, you know, you, you still have to give even a better version of yourself. Even you have to work harder, diet harder for the Olympia. And it, it, for me, it practically becomes just absolutely uh, draining. You know, I'm just like, yeah, I mean, okay, can, done. can you walk? Because I think a lot of people, myself included, kind of struggle to understand the the makeup of this IFBB. How does it work? How do you qualify? And then how many competitors? How many shows? And then how do you qualify okay, to the so Olympia? Let, let, let's, start, let's start from the bottom, okay? You start by doing local shows, local contests. And then you work your way up. Uh, uh, you do a local contest. No, it doesn't matter what you place. You're qualified to do a provincial contest. You do a provincial contest. If you place top five, you do a national contest. You do a national contest. Uh, you, ha- uh, you win your weight class. That's the goal now, to win your weight class in a national contest. And believe it or not, that's a lot of people's dreams, just to win a national level show at their weight class. Now, if you want to turn pro, uh, first of all, you have to go up in the weight classes. So I, I got my pro card winning the light heavyweight division. Mm. And then after you win your weight class, you have to beat all the other weight classes. Mm, okay, and the way you look, yeah, I need the symmetry, the the quality it's of you. It's everything. It's uh, it's number one is conditioning. So they won't even look at you if you're not conditioned. Mm. So you got to be dry as dry dry as shit. Okay, um, and then obviously it's the symmetry and the size, a combination of the symmetry, the size, even the genetic look of the muscle, how round it is, how nicely shaped it is. 
because some people just have shitty genetics and they just don't look good. It's not nice. It's not eye pleasing. But yeah. when you have, you know, small joints, uh, round, full muscle bellies, uh, again, you kind of look like a cartoon character. Yeah. That's, that's basically, yeah, that's how you win. So, so, is so that, after, is, yeah. sorry, is that the difference? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm cutting you off, but I want you to continue with it. But is that the difference? Like the, the genetics, like, is, is that really the make or break and on the, on the highest level? Uh, so if here's the thing to get a pro card, you can get a pro card if your genetics are so, so, uh, but you have to work your ass off. Like you have to really outwork everyone else. And it will probably take you a few times to get that pro card. Yeah. Mm. Now, once you get your pro card, you start all the way from the bottom again as a pro. If you're not genetically blessed, that's your cap. You're done. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to be genetically blessed and continue with the hard work to make your way through, through, uh, through the pro league. Uh, the first pro show I did was probably... Uh, you know, so some people say it's the second. Some people say it's the third most difficult pro show in the world. It's the New York Pro. Yeah. It brings competitors from all over the world. And I chose this show specifically to be my first because I wanted to see how well, how good am I really? Like, should I even pursue this? I got my pro card. It took me years. And it was a very rough battle to get that. And I was like, am I, am I really good at this? Should I, should I just stop now? Is this enough? I'm a pro. Can I call it quits or do I actually have the potential to be, you know, to play with the big boys? So yeah. I did the New York pro as my first show. Most Canadians and most people that do New York pro as their first show don't place well. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. Uh, so some Canadians did the New York pro and they placed last or, or out of the top 10. And in your situation, I placed, I placed fourth, which wow. was insane. Wow. And then I was like, holy shit, fourth on um, New York Pro, my first pro show. So me and my coach were like, all right, let's get this going. Uh, Toronto Pro. I do Toronto Pro and I get my first medal. I placed third. I was like, holy fucking shit. Third place in my second pro show. All right, should we do one more? Just maybe I can get second, you know, let's just keep on pushing. I think that was the most year that I was motivated. And uh, it was 2018. And then I did another pro show, Vancouver Pro, and I fucking won that show. And that was, that's wow. the picture when I'm like crying with my hands up. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, Amazing. It, that, that's rare. That's rare though. Uh, someone winning a pro show from their, from their pro debut year, from their year, rookie year. Yeah. And then I qualified to the Mr. Olympia, and, uh, but that went to shit though. That went to shit. Chloe was very sick during that time. Mm. Uh, she had surge. Yeah, she had uh, my wife. Call you. She had uh, surgery uh, ten days before the Olympia. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that that kind of did not go well. The show did not go well. There was lack of motivation. Uh, obviously, um, picking up at home, uh, you know, and it's it was it was rough. So you qualify. Sorry, you qualify for the Olympia by winning a pro event. This is how it works. Like uh, just for us to understand so there, there are two ways there are two ways to qualify you either win a pro show or you collect points so when you place top five or top three at certain shows you collect points right and then the points add up and the top three athletes who have the most points in the world the top three they get to go to the olympia so the olympia would probably have the sum of every pro show winner and those top three at the point. So every division has like only 18, 18 people. 